Greetings, what is the plan? Not a word deed. We are anonymous. You claim to be anonymous. We've been watching you, and you should have known to inspect us. But since you are not us, your ignorance has us blinded you. While anyone can go under the banner of Anonymous, and while there are no official rules regarding Anonymous, there is a platform on which we all stand. Anonymous will not stand by, while heretics use our name to spread this nonsense. You are such apostates and you violate everything Anonymous has ever stood for. You defile the very idea of Anonymous. Anonymous is not about profit. Yet you sell merchandise. Censorship. Yet you continue to censor your users for speaking their mind, even if their ideas are valid. Being some sort of personal army. Yet you seem to use your users, as if they were. Being nicer about these. Anonymous is the internet date machine. If you want to create a group of tree-hugging, peace-loving hippies, then you are more than welcome to do so. But, by using the name Anonymous, you are tainting everything that Anonymous has worked so hard to establish. Anonymous is not a revolution. Anonymous is not a movement. It may inspire these things, but once they take root, they cease being anonymous and become something else. To call them anonymous would destroy the original idea, and you are doing just this. Anonymous is about being able and allowed to be anonymous, if you wish. Yet you deny users' ability to connect via Tor and VPN and force your users to sign up. The freedom of speech and knowledge. Yet you seem to promote censorship and force those in need of knowledge to sign up in order to receive it from you. Your website is based on U.S. soil, which will most likely result in a federal agency seizing control of your servers and collect membership information which would include their actual IP addresses. This is beyond unacceptable. You've made it so those who seek to visit your website to find out more information must sign up in order to do so. Information should be free, not only for those involved within the plan, but to people who are interested in it as well. Anonymous is about expanding people's knowledge so they stop blindly following what they are told to follow. It is about encouraging independent thinking with a wealth of information at your fingertips. Your plan is supposed to have three parts, yet you only tell people what is going to happen one step at a time. This means that anyone who wants to be involved has to have blind faith that the other two steps are going to involve things that they are willing to do. Those who truly represent the idea always research any endeavor before partaking, and you deny them this opportunity. What is the plan of the Lord D, and all it represents is fundamentally destroying Anonymous. Anonymous is a leaderless movement, yet your moderators don't watch. Instead, they control how the conversations play out by banning anyone who attempts to make an independent thought or question you. The person in charge of the What is the Plan site claims that the reason their site is inaccessible Victoria is due to something said in its script. The person in charge also claims the following. We take the privacy of our users with great importance and have installed some security software into the script to make sure that we are not blocked with bots or trolls. However, by blocking trolls from your site, you are denying them their freedom of expression. Anonymous would never block certain individuals from expressing themselves, regardless of who they might be. We also have reason to believe this is utter bullshit, as Anonymous favors anonymity and thereby ensures all related free use software is always compatible and our factors remain at least neutral. We have observed your plan. It is time for a plan B, which shall soon arise and fight you back to where you originated from and then prevent you from resurrection. You openly create a hostile environment for those who unite under the anonymous idea and welcome its distortion. We have concluded that it is something set up by heretics or federal agencies so that anonymous might be contained and controlled, yet users can still feel like they are contributing. You have done this because you fear the true idea of anonymous. You realize you cannot stop it, so instead you seek to twist it. You are not anonymous. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. 
We do not forget. Expect plan B.